I'm of the belief that purely as a prospect, when we talk about things like upside and probability and risk and things of that nature, that George Kirby, although it's slight, is a better prospect than Logan Gilbert ever was. I know I'm on an island there, but when you have a guy who throws strikes as easily as George Kirby does, and now he's throwing 95 plus, we're talking about a guy who right now, George Kirby throws harder on average than Logan Gilbert does. Didn't think we'd be saying that. Didn't think we'd be saying that at all, but we are. Now, that doesn't just make a pitcher throwing strikes, throwing 95. That doesn't make a pitcher. But as a prospect, when you're projecting forward, I'm higher on Kirby now than I ever was on Logan Gilbert really? while he was still a prospect. Yeah. Yep. So let me ask you this. If, if you had the opportunity to take uh, George Kirby over Logan Gilbert in this very minute for the Mariners moving forward, you're going with Kirby? It's really close. Uh, obviously, Gilbert has an advantage that Kirby doesn't have right now, and that's he's got some major league experience and he's further along in his development. I mean, there is something there's something that we can't quantify that the club can, and we've heard them talk about it a little bit um, with Gilbert with Kirby? And, his, oh, and with how Gilbert. with Gilbert and, and how prepared he is and and how cerebral he is. Uh, that's something that's difficult for me to uh you know to put value on to put a number on to include in his uh overall assessment but uh, i don't know that i would take kirby because gilbert's ready now and and i'm not it, it, even though i really like kirby and i think he's uh, again i think he's a better pitching prospect now than gilbert ever was i i get what you're saying you're forcing and I think me I to agree. take a guy who i'm not even sure is going to pitch you know until july or august yeah. yeah. So you're saying uh, April 2021 when, you know, Gilbert was making his first start mm -hmm. in Tacoma, compare what you thought of Gilbert then to yep. what you think of Kirby yeah. now. Yeah. yeah I know I hear you. And I think yeah. the things that give me pause about Kirby, the health is something that, uh, you know, we've seen it a million times. I need to see this guy get to the big leagues uh, with, you know, as a warm body. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, the stuff I think is good enough to play at the big league level. It's just a matter of, of getting him there. I've, I've always likened George Kirby's operation to what Jamison Tyone's used to be, and he's moving even quicker down the mound than Tyone ever did. So, I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a biomechanics guy. I'm not in love with George Kirby's delivery. I like Logan Gilbert's delivery more, but you can't argue with the stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Gilbert couldn't command three of his pitches this year. Right. He still got away with it. Yeah. Kirby can command two and a half of his pitches right now. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And, and two of them like big time, like yeah. we're, we're not talking average. We're talking above average and in some yeah. cases plus. So, yeah, I think that, I think the changeup could be above average too. If, if he just continues developing feel for it. I, I think the I think the break, the second breaking ball is by wash mostly. Oh, of course. Just, of course. Yeah. And we saw, we saw him use, the curveball a lot less. Uh, oh, you know what? That? I'll say this though. It is better than what Gilbert brought to the mound in 2021 though. So yeah. More it, usable. I think Gilbert's 2021 was really weird. It was, it was like, what, like what happened? Like, I never saw any of that in 20, uh, 2019, 20, no. 2019, even in the alternate site game. So I never saw him that the curveball that he was deploying was totally different than anything I had ever seen. He, mm -hmm. he took so much off of it. And he wasn't even in the right zip code with it. Yeah. The slider was about the slider that I'd always seen. And yeah, um, I'm surprised it took so long to deploy the changeup, but it's better for yeah. it. It's gonna be fun in uh, in 2022. I do expect Gilbert to uh, to take a nice big step forward, and uh, we know he's gonna put in the work. That's what's uh, that's what's great, and that's the the thing again that's really difficult to to quantify. Um, that the club has information that that we don't when it comes to that, and we did learn about Logan Gilbert in, in that way. Um, hopefully we learned about Kirby that way, but considering what we know, yeah, you know, just as prospects, you know, we have to ignore everything Kirby did at the big league level, just as prospects. I'm just slightly higher on Kirby, uh, than I was, uh, than I was Gilbert. And that's really not a shot to, to Gilbert. That's just, uh, uh, how highly I think of, uh, how highly I think of George Kirby. He pitched with so much confidence this year. I just did not expect that because he just never struck me as the kind of guy that would go out and throw the fastball with conviction 
but I, I think the added velocity and the fact that he's holding that velocity uh, and he's getting more arm side movement on it. Uh, he's just, that I, I, I don't know. It felt like watching him was like, I don't know what pitch he's going to throw here. Like, I know what I would throw. I would throw a fastball up and in and make this, you know, make Nick, you know, Prado, make him swing through it. It's one, two. Like, is yeah. he going to be able to lay off it? No, but George Kirby's not going to be able to. And then as soon as I say that, boom, fastball up and in swing and a miss. He just found, uh, like, it, it really seemed like George Kirby, like, discovered what he could be because of the fastball and because of how effective it was. So it wasn't just about spotting his pitches. It was about, I can actually be overpowering sometimes. And I will that's something say we know Logan Gilbert knows he can be Gilbert. And that's what I was going to say. Gilbert has one thing that I don't think personally George Kirby has, and that's a double plus pitch. I think Gilbert's got that's a true. 70 grade fastball and I, mm. you can tell me, you can look at yep. me and go, but Kirby throws 99 yeah shape matters it's it's a much different fastball no the it's it's delivery it's see it's the uh the spin on the baseball yeah gilbert has an advantage there for sure at least at this point that's where we are yeah 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 um that was fun Hey, it's Jason Churchill. To get the full episode, as well as every other episode of the podcast, Past and Future, subscribe for as little as $5 per month by going to bit.ly slash get the pod. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash get the pod, all one word, a link you can also find on my Twitter profile. Hey, thanks for checking out Baseball Things. Baseball Things.